Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this video today I'm going to tell you how to use the MCDU or the multifunctional control and display unit of the Flybyware Airbus A320 Neo on um, your tab or mobile or the other screen if you're using multiple displays uh, for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's a very simple and easy process. First of all you have to um, install the SIM bridge which comes with the Flybyware Simulations installer. As you can see it on your screens, it's over here, uh, SimBridge, and it has to be installed. Um, right now, it's installed on my system. That's why it says uninstall. Otherwise, uh, for you, if you have not installed it, it will say in install. Uh, auto start, you can uh, change it to enabled or disabled uh, status. Uh, if it's enabled, then every time when you will run your system, it will be automatically enabled and it will start running. Uh, in order to stop it, you can press this button to stop it and you can also uh, press this button to start it if it's not running uh, it's a simple procedure and uh, all you have to do is this go to the settings and plus you have to have a port because it will be used uh, as an address or, or the port uh, to access uh, the MCDU of this plane on your tab or your mobile uh, then all you have to do is this get the IP of your system because um, if you are on the same network then you will be able to use it otherwise if you're not on the same network then it's not possible. For this, you have to go to the network and internet settings of your system. I'm using Windows 11, that's why it's coming in like this. Uh, otherwise, if you're using some other version of the Windows, you have to go to the settings, go to the network um, and internet uh, settings. And from here, you have to go to the properties, get the IPv4 address, which is 192.168.0.86 for my system. Once you have it, and then it's a very simple procedure, yeah, there is a string which I will just show you on the screen, which is this one, uh, HTTP colon slash slash the IP address colon the port slash interfaces slash MCDU. So this is the address that you have to type in the browser of any other device. As you can see it on your screens right now, I'm using uh, Samsung tab and um, I've just opened it in uh, um, the Chrome browser. You can use any other browser if you want. Just simply type in this uh, address and uh, you will be able to use the MCDU. So um, just have a quick look at it. So right now, uh, without clicking uh, over here, I can just go to the ATSU menu. As you can see, I can access it and um, I can go to the AOC menu. As you can see, so it's working for me. I can go to the initialization page. Uh, from here on my tab or the mobile if you want to use it on your mobile. So it's very handy. It's very nice. Uh, you don't have to just use your mouse to click it. It gives you a good interaction with the system. So it was a short video. I just wanted to make make, make for you guys uh, so that uh, if you want to uh, use the MCDU on some other device, you will be able to use it. Uh, with this, I would just like to end my video. Uh, if you have got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. And uh, if you want to add anything to this video, uh, the comment section is there for you. I've been actually away for a very long time, for almost like five months. So that's why I've not been uh, very regular in responding to your uh, comments and answering your questions. But now I will just try to be regular. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.